You all excited? I'm excited. Gonna play some Medieval Engineers. I'm K. So, I've decided that I want to, for our farm, I don't want to push this thing around up and down each aisle. It's irritating. This is our second revision of our little mining cart. It does work. It works very well. It's just irritating. So I've came up with an idea that I'm trying to implement, and I have no idea how to implement it. But I'm going to figure this out. There's an easier way for me to handle this, but that requires me to terraform everything to the same level. And I don't want to do that. I'd rather just do it, see if we can figure it out this way. If we can, great. If we can't, then I've had a lot of fun trying to come up with a, you know, come up, you know, engineer a way to do this. All right, so this is what the issue is. This is the center of the field that I'm going to be doing. This is going to be a track going straight down that way. This cart, which is raised a little higher, and this would be the very center of the section, this cart goes on to this track. On the other side of this, I'll have a wheel. On the other side of this, I'll have a wheel. After that is going to be two harvesters, a segment for joint. What I mean by a, a, I'm going to have the center cart, which actually, I'm sorry, it's only going to have one harvester and then the segment. So once harvester on this side, one harvester on this side and the segments. Uh, once it hits that segment, that segment is going to have two catch blocks on top of each other. Uh, that's going to give us some type of flexibility, I believe. Once we have that flexibility, it's going to be able to, when the cart goes, the side over here can be at a different terrain height than the center, which can be at a different terrain height than the side over here. It will also enable the carts to actually be sloped at an angle. Now, saying this, theoretically it should work. Now, whether or not Medieval Engineers is going to allow us to do it, it's another thing. So I have the center segment pretty much built. Um, what we're going to do is start building out the main cart. And then we, we, I mean, we don't really have it lined up, but we're going to go ahead and, you know, we'll take out the pillar and drop it on. When I say drop it on, I mean, we need to figure out a way to angle it gently down. All right, so we have our little bench here set up so we can build things. Oh, while I'm thinking about it. So they've added some mods to the server. Uh, one of the mods that they've added is stained glass windows. So I'm going to be doing some stained glass windows in our... Probably not the keep. The keep's already done. I don't want to collapse it. So I definitely don't want to risk taking out a wall. Um, I do... I do need to fix these right here. Um, I was really dumb and didn't realize that you could just rotate the block. Because none of the other blocks let you rotate it, so why would it let you rotate that one block? But it does. Um, and in, it's weird because the stone ones, you have a right and a left. So for some reason, and I knew this before and it just didn't click. And as soon as I finished building everything, I realized that. But then I'm too lazy to actually go back and destroy that and get it all done. But what we do have is something very special. I've redone a little bit of the windmill. When I say I've redone a little bit of the windmill, I mean I basically redesigned the entire thing. And what that has enabled us to do is, in here... So windmill comes down, goes into our mill, goes into a splitter, and goes to the right or left. Now, without with one windmill blade, this setup just stopped. Like, this was way too much. So at the very top of the windmill, we're actually rocking another splitter, which goes to two windmill blades. We actually have a double windmill. 
It's like a double rainbow. Very rarely do you ever see one. But this one's working. And this, you know, so it splits out to our sawmill. And over here we have the mechanical uh, uh, ore crusher. We also have the trader mod. So I've gone and I've pretty much built everything. As you can see, I've done a little tiny, uh, you know, redesign to this, uh, you know, this out, outside area. We lost a little uh, stockpile, but for the most part, I'm, I'm very happy. I was thinking about expanding this out. You know, one more block out, kind of give myself a two by, you know, a, a, a what is this, two by four? Yeah, a two by five area right here that we can just, you know, do whatever with. Um, and that, and then also take the trader and slide the trader down one block. So that's on the to do list. But for now, Let's continue working on our cart. Let me grab some food and we'll be back. So I've been building. We have our little joint. Hopefully this will work. It does seem to allow for a, you know, different height as you can see. Plows are quite expensive. So it's gonna be a little bit for us to be able to get all the plows. Uh, we have all of the harvesters and we have all of the, do I have all the cedars? No, I don't think I have all the cedars. So as you can see, I have it propped up on that one little, uh, that one little pole and it does not like it at all. We've had some issues as you can see from the uh, terrain. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to need a wheel on this side. If I put a wheel on this side, I don't know if... I mean, they should... I mean, they'll be close to each other, but they should clear. I need to make some more wheels. Yeah, that should clear. Yeah, I'm quite interested in seeing how this is going to work. I'm also interested to find out if we're going to be able to push this. How are we going to move this? I mean, yeah, this is. If we could build the main track at an angle to where, but the entire terrain has to be at that angle and just have like a, a like a rope pulley system to get it back to the start. Yeah, I'm not, not exactly sure how we're going to do this one, but this is a concept. So if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Apparently one of these is messed up. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. This is bad. Settle down, settle down, settle down. All right, we'll be right back. So it's been a while. I, for the most part, am done. Now, obviously, this is not ready to go. Um, the plows are very expensive. I have burned through 60 copper, about another 40 iron to build all of this. 
and each plow each one of these little plows takes basically six ingots uh, it takes 60 metal comp uh, metal parts 10 metal parts towards to one ingot so 60 uh, metal parts is six ingots so it's going to be a little bit before we actually have enough in order to finish this up. Everything's done except for the plows. Now, I have built little, I guess you could say, little stoppers in hopes to be able to lower this safely. I do realize I kind of probably kind of built it a little too high. Hopefully, as I'm lowering it, I'll be able to put these on that guide rail. I'm concerned that those are actually a little too low. Yeah, I think those are a little too low. All right, so what do we... All right, so let's have out... We replace them with timber twos. Hopefully, the guide rail will be high enough. See, with it being up there, it's kind of hard to tell if that guide rail is going to be high enough. What we could probably do is just to make sure put one of those there that way if it needs to be a little higher that's fine all right so here comes the big boom what we're going to do is we're going to lower this in steps we're going to do one side a couple times oh I did not want to do that one. All right, so let's try this. Don't explode. All right, now once I release the center one, the entire thing will become dynamic. Oh, not good. Um... Yeah, it's not liking that. Okay, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. We still got these. We got to figure out how we can get. All right. How about. All right. So that one side's done. Uh oh, this might actually work. Well, I didn't want to... we can put that one back. Hmm. 
Now we just gotta figure out how to get this inside on the track. And the entire thing needs to come over. Let's see if we can get it to drop. Oh, boom. Oh, oh, stop, stop. Well, it does look like it's going to work. We got to figure out how to get this back on the track. <laughs> yeah, I don't think... Oh, we can pull it. This is actually quite amazing. All right, so. Looks like it's actually up a little bit. All right, so what we need to do is we get this timber here. Let's put that there for right now. All right, so that should be perfect. That should be perfect. Looks like all the wheels are on the ground. Does look like this is at a different angle than the centerpiece. And this one looks like it's actually twisted. I mean, that wheel is definitely higher than everything else. But that looks right. All right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this the center little guide rail all the way down and uh yeah we'll try it out right back so we have our regular cart i decided to take the two plows out of this temporarily i do plan on keeping this cart we have our rail done as you can see it is completely plowed um, I've mixed all the uh, all the food together. So I think this right here is herbs where I am. We got wheat. We got flax. On the other side, we got, uh, I believe this is cabbage. And we got, because we have a couple mods on the server, we have, uh, this is berries. Then we have mushrooms, and then this is pumpkins. So we're going to get a nice little stockpile, and then pretty much all this is going to be wheat, eventually. I'm still missing three, three plows. So once we get those three plows done, then we'll be able to use this to its full potential. But it does work. I engaged the plows a little too soon. So right here I've made a little uh little point where I know where to engage my plows. And this right here is just a break so it doesn't start rolling forward. Uh for the most part, about where I'm standing right now, which is about halfway, the front uh the front wheel on this side will lift up it still works perfectly fine as you can see there's no gaps um, 
but that's the only design. Everything else works perfect. When it's in this corner, I mean, you can see it, it planted all the way up into this corner. And this corner is a dramatic terrain, uh, uh, you know, dramatic elevation difference from a lot of this other place. Uh, so the entire concept works. So we got basically two extremely, or three extremely large uh, farming carts with a joint in the middle between the segments connecting them and allowing them to either be angled um, be at different elevations so it does work I'm extremely happy about this well I'm going to wait for this to all grow and I'm going to harvest it I might, yeah, I'm going to go mine for a little bit. I don't know if I've shared this with you all, but. Over in what would be the North Pole, I built a little house. And this is where I'm doing all my mining. So I do have... A furnace and stuff here um, with the ore crusher mod I need to build an ore crusher so that I can bring back all the ingots instead of bringing back uh, all the ore but when I built this we didn't have that mod yet I've already mined out oh, I don't even have it on uh, let's see I've already mined out a mine over here. There's iron ore or iron rock here, but if I try to harvesting it, I just get stone. I don't know if they fixed that, and if they have fixed that, then we probably need to reset the world in order to take advantage of that. Uh, so that one's completely mined out. We have another one way over here. That I've completely and utterly mined out. And so I don't keep falling in the hole. So the, I decided to block it off. Uh, but this is just like the other one. This is completely mined out. I believe there's more going down this hill. I mean, obviously there's one right there. Those are probably a couple. But what I would like to do is get a little closer to the house. So there's got to be one closer to the house. So I'm going to start mining. See if we can build those other plows. And uh, until next time, have fun.